Hey guys, welcome to my 35 week update, bump date, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am, as of today, today is August 9th. I am one month away from my due date and it is just blowing my mind that baby could be here in less than a month, exactly a month, a little over a month. <laughs> somewhere around a month. It's just crazy. We are in the final stretch. This week, baby is the size of a bunch of carrots, a honeydew melon, or my favorite, a kid's backpack. And the picture that my Ovia app has that always does like the cute um, analogies has the cutest picture, so I'll show you guys. This is what it shows, it says kid's backpack. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cute, but a kid's backpack is pretty big and I don't feel like I could fit a kid's backpack in my stomach, but maybe I could, I guess. According to the app, I could. Um, so there's not too much new going on with baby this week. His kidneys are fully developed and so he's starting to like use them and um, process excrement and things like that but other than that all of his organs and everything else is pretty much developed really what he's working on these next couple weeks are just fattening up um, gaining weight and getting a little bit taller and that's really about it I mean we're in the home stretch now so symptoms this week um, the major symptom this week is heartburn and I swear I jinxed myself because in my last update my 34 week I talked about how I barely had any heartburn at all and that it was I've been doing great and going off on and on about all that well it's like the next day or maybe it was later that night started the heartburn and it is just so bad now the heartburn has intensified greatly within the last couple days it's just i always have the burning sensation most of the time i can ignore it and it will go away but there have been times where i've had to take tums because it is just so it's just so annoying to have to deal with like that burning sensation and anytime like i've been um bending low to like tape sections off like on our um, baseboards um to get ready to like do touch-up paints because we're getting our house ready to sell and anytime i like am vertical like that my heartburn gets so so bad so i've had to take tums a lot more lately and I don't feel like it's any certain foods that create the heartburn. It's just like, it's constantly heartburn. So yeah, unfortunately it has been getting worse. I figured this was gonna happen at one point or another, but yeah, it's here. <laughs> I've been really, really tired lately. I have um, been having a really hard time sleeping. Um, finding a comfortable position is the hardest thing for me to do lately. I flip over from side to side, you know, I have the pillow under my belly, I have a pillow in between my legs, but it's just so hard to get a comfortable position lately. And of course I'm waking up several times a night to pee and then I come back to bed and then I'm trying to find another comfortable position again and so I'm just not getting that good of sleep. I cannot wait until I have my body back and I can just... Sometimes I've... Lately I've really just been wanting to like lay on my stomach and obviously that's a big no-no when you're this far pregnant so I can't wait to just be able to lay in whatever position I want to. My back has been getting worse and worse as the weeks go on. This week it has gotten really really bad. Um, usually it starts out where I start at the beginning of the day and I'll be pretty good, not too bad, and then uh, always at the end of every day my back is just killing me. Um, and it's like no matter how many pillows I put behind my back, what sitting position, what laying position I do, like nothing helps. It used to be where I could lay down and my um, back would feel better from that, but I mean laying in bed, it's not bad, but like laying on the couch or anywhere else, like I just cannot get relief from the back pain. It just hurts so bad. And driving anywhere within 
three minutes or so, my back just starts killing me. No matter where, like what position I'm trying, I try to straighten up, I try to lean to the side, lean to the other side while I'm driving, it doesn't matter. Like my back hurts so bad. I am so sick of my back hurting. I cannot wait to not have to deal with that all the time. <laughs> as you can see, I'm just getting to the point as most women do towards the end of their pregnancy where they're just done. They're over it, <laughs> they're tired of hurting, and they just want the baby to come so they can have their body back. And that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Since I have a month left, really a month left until baby comes, I've started making a list on my phone of all of the things that I need to get done within this next month before the baby comes. Um, so I'll read some of those things to you guys off my phone. I have barely gotten anything done <laughs> for this baby. I feel so bad. It's so true when they say like this first baby like you get everything done like months ahead of time and then the second and so on baby you're just like eh whatever. That's exactly me right now. <laughs> like I'm just like eh. Well and it's hard because like I want to get all this stuff done but like we're getting our house ready to sell so it's like I can't bring out too much. I don't know, it's just really hard. But on my to-do list, here are the things I need to do. I need to set up the bassinet here in our bedroom. It's downstairs in storage right now. I'm really just gonna wait until last minute to bring it up because if we can get pictures done before I get the bassinet out, that would be great. I need to pack the hospital bag. That's pretty important. Um, I need to pack stuff for me, I need to pack stuff for Anthony, and I need to pack stuff for baby. I need to buy snacks for the hospital with the whole quarantine uh, coronavirus situation going on. Um, I just don't know like how, how much food we're going to get and like usually we'll have people bring us food from outside and stuff but I don't know if they'll be allowing that and if we'll only be able to eat like from the cafeteria and those are like certain times and then if you don't hit dinner before they close then you just are SOL for the rest of the night and that's not going to be good so I need to get some snacks. I need to install the car seat in the car. We have Grayson's car seat but we need, um, we have, we're going to use his old infant car seat. We just need to install it in the car. That is also downstairs in storage. Um, I have a list of things on Amazon. I created a baby registry. I've talked about this before. So I could get a 10% discount off of everything. And so I just need to go through and like buy all that stuff. And again, I'm trying to wait on that because I don't want to have like a ton more stuff to add to storage when we're trying to like sell our house and declutter. But I do have a lot of things on Amazon that I need to get, such as another sound machine. I want to get like a little night light um, for nighttime feed so I'm not waking up Anthony, but it's also not like pitch dark. I have like a baby book on there, just like simple things, but I need to order them soon. I need to find bo um, the bottles. I have a bunch of bottles all around. I just need to find them and like get those ready just in case like um, I end up pumping and Anthony wants to do a couple feeds and stuff. I just want to have the bottles ready to go. I need to buy milk bags for pumping. I just today got my breast pump and I still have my old breast pump but we um, got it for free through our insurance so I figured it'd always be good to have a backup breast pump in case my old one like fizzles out or stops working or isn't as good or whatever. I'll have a backup so I need to get milk bags so I can start doing that. Last time once I had the baby I got so engorged I had to start pumping right away because it was just so uncomfortable with the amount of milk that I had. I need to do the godparent gift. We're going to be asking the godparents, I mean if they want to be the godparents, um, when the baby's born so I need to just get those gifts ready to go. I'm ordering stuff off Etsy for that. Should be coming in the mail soon. I need to pay the um, newborn photographer. We are doing newborn pictures and so I haven't paid her yet. I booked her um, and so I'm in her like calendar but I still need to like pay her. I also need to figure out like what outfits we're gonna wear because we're gonna do family pictures. So I need to figure that out. I need to buy gas drops. Um, Grayson had really bad gas issues, which I think a lot of babies do. 
when um, they're little and they just suck in a lot of air when they're feeding and so using the gas drops really seem to help Grayson. So obviously we don't use those anymore, he doesn't have those problems so I need to go to the store and buy some. I also need to buy diapers, pretty important. We have a good amount of newborn diapers but we only have a small package of size 1. So I need to go to the store. I have a bunch of gift cards to like Target and Walmart. So I just need to go and uh, use those gift cards to buy diapers so we have a good stash. And yeah, that's all I have on my list so far. I'm sure I'll think of more things that I need to do, but as you can see, I have a very long list and I have a month to do it. So hopefully I can get it all done in the midst of caring for a toddler, getting our house ready to sell, you know, everything else going on in life. It's just going to be a crazy month. Let me show you my belly. This is my 35 week bump. My belly is getting huge. I was eating at the counter last night. I was eating dinner and my belly kept like hitting the countertop and so I had to end up sitting like sideways like parallel to the counter because I just like was so uncomfortable with my belly so I'm just getting huge um people always like comment and give me looks when I'm out in public with my big belly so I know I'm getting huge um Grayson is super cute he likes to play peekaboo with my belly he'll like lift up my shirt and he'll say peekaboo baby brother and he'll put the shirt back down and do it over and over and it's really really cute. Still don't think he has any idea what's going on um, but <laughs> it's coming. Um, another thing I need to do is I need to get Grace. I'm gonna get him a present from the new baby. Not that I don't think he'll really understand but maybe he will and what's the hurt. I was just gonna get him like a book or two because um, he loves books. He loves reading and so I need to get that ready as well. I need to get like a bag and present and stuff. I've been feeling um, crampy more often. Um, it just comes and goes. It's not like very often but I have been noticing that here and there. Um, so hopefully that's just like my uterus expanding. I'm not sure if like baby's starting to drop and then that's creating more pressure or something. I'm not sure but I have been noticing that. I have been getting Braxton Hicks here and there. Um, if I'm walking a lot or if I'm doing a lot of work, then I've noticed that I will get Braxton Hicks here and there. You can just tell because my whole belly will just tense up. It's not painful or anything, but I have been noticing that. I feel like my emotions have been getting better lately, although I have caught myself like just being like in a mood at certain times, especially around Anthony. <laughs> I'll just be... Um, like he'll just be trying to talk to me and trying to make conversation. I sometimes I'm a little short with him just because I'm trying to get other things done. Um, but for the most part, like I don't feel like I'm overly like sad or emotional or anything else. I thought at this point I would be like very sad. Like um, Grayson's not gonna be an only child anymore. Like we're not gonna be able to, you know, just pick up and go for a while because we're gonna have the newborn baby with us. But I'm actually excited for the baby to come. I I want Grayson to have a friend. I feel like it's time for our family to, you know, expand and evolve. And so I'm actually looking forward to the baby coming. The only thing I'm not looking forward to with the baby coming, or maybe the main thing, I'm sure there's probably some things, but really it's just sleeping through the night. I mean, even with me being uncomfortable, I'm still not waking up like every two hours to feed a baby right now. And I know once this baby comes, like it's going to be a lot of waking up in the middle of the night. And so I know that's going to be really, really hard on me just with the lack of sleep. And um, Grayson loves having my undivided attention. And so it's going to be very difficult for him once he realizes that I'm going to have to split my attention between him and this baby. And sometimes the baby will take precedence over him, um, especially if the baby's like crying its head off and I need to feed it or whatever. And Grayson can just chill for a second while I get that situated. So it's going to be a whole new adventure, but I'm really excited for it. And yeah, I mean, it's about to happen in about a month. So. So I think that's kind of it for this week. It was kind of long just going over my to-do list with you guys, but those are some of the things that I do need to get done before this baby comes, so send me good vibes that I get it all finished. 
Um, stay tuned for next week's uh, bump date. I will have my doctor's appointment. Um, starting next week, I will start going every week to the doctor and start getting, you know, checks to see how far dilated I am and things like that. So it's about to get real. So make sure you are subscribed so you get all these videos right when they come out. And leave me any questions or comments um, down below. I'd love to talk to you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.